What's up guys, it's Riley from Southwest Florida Last Guys Fishing and today I'm going to be showing you what I call my PV tarpon on. I haven't been making videos, it's been hard for me. Last time I was going to, but my, I let my brother since he hasn't used the GoPro in a while so for sharing it. I let him use it and so that, so I haven't been able to bring it and then we were going to the sandbar and stuff. I caught a lot of snapper when we went there and then we and a couple then it, I caught it a couple days couple like two or three weeks ago and I'm gonna show you what I caught on it so let's get into that so the first thing I was throwing in the beginning of the day was this little like walk the dog thing it was this thing right here a little thing that my dad gave me and I do it the other time when I went out with my dad with my dad, his brother, and my brother and me on our new kayaks. Yes, we got new kayaks, me and my brother. He got a eight foot red kayak. I got a blue eight foot red, I mean a blue kayak. So, I'm just gonna show you guys, I tried doing it. Um, so I'm gonna show you, then after that, I was throwing this red, this flute because nothing was biting that. Um, my dad had a follow-up on one, then my brother threw out it and I at the same time, so we spooked the fish. So then I tied on this thing, this fluke, right here. Tied on the fluke, didn't get nothing on that, but then as soon as I tied this DOA on, which I caught my PB snook on, and my tarpon, I caught on it now. As soon as I ca cast it, I cast it at a dock, and then I cast it on the dock, I flipped it off, and then caught a snook with this thing right here. What we do is, since the hook on it, it's not, it's a good hook, yes, but it's not as better as a jig head. We put, let me show you. We put a jig head um, on the bang, so it's a better hook up ratio with a tarpon and for snook and that stuff. But when I caught snook off the dock, it was on the other one. It almost got off because it was the hook, but I landed it. I didn't get to get a picture with it because, because it was flopping everywhere, then it flopped out of my hands. So, and it's really hard catching up with the videos. I tried updating, uploading a other video, and it was really hard, so. I'm trying to put videos in, in there for you guys. I'm sorry if I'm not. I don't want to keep you guys bored. So next time I go fish, I'm dead. I got a new SD card and it's blank. Nothing's on it. This is gonna be the first video on it. So don't just don't forget to click the follow the follow button, click the share button, like, subscribe, and do all that, please. It helps out the channel so I can be showing you guys more of this wonderful content. I hope you guys like my channel. Um, I'm still young. I'm still getting with it. My first video, it was kind of hard because I did a lot of like stuff where it restarted the whole entire thing. I was that was my first time uploading a video, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, so I'm just gonna be posting more content out in a couple in like like maybe Sunday or Saturday because I'm talking with my dad, trying to talk him going bass fishing out the web with us so I can um, use my bait caster combo that I made a new bait caster combo because my mom I lost my bait caster combo in um in some in a lake up in Ocala where my um Mimi lives and my uncle and them and then my uncle Anthony he lives in Tennessee but he when that happened he was living in Florida um he it wasn't his fault. He um, went to go. I lost my balance. I dropped my rod. Then I fell in the boat. So that happened. So I made a new combo with, since she gave me hers, she gave me this one with this rod. It's like a $300 rod. This seven foot medium heavy fight, fast line, weight eight, all that. And then with this reel right, with a reel in my room, then I drew on that and I kept getting backlashes. So as soon as I found this 
this reel on the side of the road, this big customer, I've been catching lots of fish and everything on it. Even I've been, I even caught, um, I, I haven't, I got backlashes, but I haven't been getting as much backlashes as I did with the other one, with this one. So this is the other one. This is a reel I found on the side of the road. We put some new braid on it and all that stuff. This is the cover I have for it. Oh my God. Let me take, take that off. And then this is the rod. This is the rod I caught my first baitcaster bass on. It was nice. My uncle Timmy, he showed me it. He showed me how to cast and all that. So don't all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow the channel. I'm saying it again. Like, subscribe to um, Tackle Talk CJ. And don't forget to subscribe to um, One More Cast 941. That's my dad. I wouldn't be doing all this fishing stuff or without him and my mom and my family members. So, so thank you to them. And please, if you if you guys like subscribe it would help out the channel but so i can do more of this fun stuff for you guys and i'll see you guys later if i go fishing bye